Hello, we are at the Aegis Campus Placement Drive, the annual placement drive. And I have with me the student who has just done his course with Aegis School of Data Science postgraduate program he is Anoop Bose. Let's hear it from Anoop. Hi, Anoop. Hi, Shweta. Good evening. Anoop, tell us something about your educational academic background and how you have switched to data science and why you thought of data science right now. Sure, Shweta. So I did my Bachelor of Arts in Economics from Maharaja Ganga Singh University in Bikaner. And then I pursued my MS in Finance from Coventry University in the UK. And then I came back to India and I started working for various companies. So my last company was LinkedIn and the one before was Amazon. And I have been associated with fraud and risk uh, all this while. Yeah, and the reason why I opted for data science was uh, because of the fact that I was closely related with the data science analytics teams in LinkedIn and Amazon. And I always wanted to be more hands-on and build models and see the results myself and you know, make uh, a greater impact uh, in whichever organization that I aspired to be. Uh, so that was the reason why I opted for Age School of Business. Anup, uh, we can see that you have done your bachelor's in art, then master's in science and then data science. So where was that one point when you thought that I should be doing data science or I should be pursuing my career or doing something in analytics? Sure, Shweta. So I already had a decent background in mathematics and statistics uh, with the training that I got uh, during my Bachelor of Arts in Economics and MS in Finance, but I really didn't have the practical coding experience, what a BTEC student might have. So I thought uh, if I wanted to move into a different career altogether and be more hands-on and be more useful to an organization, I needed to have a practical hands-on training, uh, a full-time course uh, that I, that's the reason why I opted for ages. Um, I saw the course and I really liked it. And I thought this would be really beneficial for me. Was it difficult for you to cope up with the 11th month course in data science, considering your different background? And as you mentioned, don't have any experience in coding. And also, is there anything that you would want to mention to the students, any tips who don't have, or rather are have a non-technical background? Sure. Uh, so I wouldn't lie. Uh, the coding part is rigorous and uh, a person who is from a non-technical background needs to put a lot of effort. Uh, so I did work twice hard, twice as hard as my peers who did BTEC, uh, you know, uh, in various fields because they had that kind of, uh, you know, background. So <clears throat> for anybody who is uh, from a non-technical background trying to switch careers, I would say that it is not difficult, but the only caveat is that you need to put extra efforts uh, to be at par with somebody who is, for example, a BTEC in computer science. Uh, about your journey within these 11 months, your hands-on project, your practical project, how was, how was the handheldling done at Aegis and how was your experience overall? Uh, we did a lot of projects starting right from deep learning, uh, natural language processing, computer vision, and the traditional ML uh, regression classification and everything. The projects uh, that we did uh, initially were handheld by the faculty that we had. So some of the best faculties in uh, India were the guides for our projects. And wherever we got stuck, we were helped on every single stage. And uh, the projects are very industry relevant and uh, which has been very helpful for me in my career. Yeah. Any few points or maybe three or five points you want to mention uh, before for a student of a non-tech background to start up before thinking yeah. of data science? Yes, Shweta. So, uh, uh, learning from my own uh, journey, I would say that if you want to switch careers, it is always good to uh, start a bit early so that you can, uh, you know, hit the road running and probably do some MOOCs beforehand so that so that you get a taste of what's coming, uh, what's in store for you. Uh, be uh, focused. Uh, don't think that you are weak or you lack something. And you can always catch up and learn from your peers, from your teachers. They're always there to help you. And uh, just keep a positive frame of mind and you'll achieve success. 
any five tips you want to give uh, for the people because uh, you have been giving interview you have a six months of experience you have given interviews in different field and now giving an interview in data science was little different and difficult yeah. any tips you want to easy quick tips yeah so i uh, used to do a lot of um, mock coding uh, online so lead code and uh, you know hacker earth so a uh, one of the uh, examples that I can give is uh, practice more, uh, be more hands-on rather than just learning theory, uh, interact more with your peers. And if you can't get it right among yourselves, you can always reach out to faculty. And uh, the only main uh, underpinning point is that you always need to practice. Uh, without practice, it is really hard to crack interviews. So looking at you and he listening to you, people with a non-technical and a non-coding background can surely take up data science now. Absolutely, yes. Apart from the uh, tips that you mentioned for the uh, people who want to take up data science as a career, we want to want a message also for some for the students who are watching and you know who are just thinking to enroll for a course. Right. Uh... So if you are a person irrespective of the background that you have and you want to make a switch to data science, uh, I would always say that it is, uh, you know, any time is right time. If you are positive enough, uh, just take the jump, practice really hard, uh, you know, learn as much as you can, read books, read blogs, practice more, uh, be more hands-on and uh, you will success uh, in your career, whichever career that you choose. It was wonderful talking to you, Anoop, and we really wish all the good luck uh, for all the future endeavors in your life and uh, wonderful talking to you. Same here, Shweta. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.